Hey there guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be about how to change the air filter on your car. So obviously the first step is going to be to pop your hood and uh, find your air box. So your air box is going to be the small black box that's uh, connected to your engine with a tube and that's how you'll be able to uh, identify it if you're, you're not, you know, a huge car guy. The second step is going to be to take either a screwdriver or a ratchet and a ratchet head and undo the screws or the bolts on the airbox. So uh, in my case, I've got a slightly older car. It's a 99 Pontiac Sunfire. Uh, I had to use a screwdriver and just unscrew the four bolts. It was very easy. If you have a newer car, you're probably going to need a ratchet and the right size head. Uh, usually they're 5 eighths. Uh, you know, just grab your toolbox and find out on your own car. So now I'll show you the airbox. Excuse me, the air filter. Uh, the one on this car is actually pretty clean. It, it was probably changed recently. Uh, I wouldn't know as I haven't been driving the car much since I got it uh, not too long ago from a friend of mine. But I'll show you here what a clean air filter looks like. Uh, there's not much dust or, or pollution inside of there. And uh, when you're changing your air filter, you should also look inside the box like I showed you right there. Make sure there's no dust, dirt, leaves, or anything of that sort as it can be harmful to your engine. Uh, if you see something like that, just grab it and swipe it out. It's, it's pretty simple. So next up would be to put your new air filter inside. And uh, the two things you want to make sure of here are, are A, that it's the sides are flush with your air box, uh, which is pretty easy. You just want to make sure of that so everything fits right. And B, uh, <laughs> you don't want to be like me and put the thing in upside down. So just be aware of that when you're installing your new uh, air filter. Aside from that, uh, there's not really much to do other than re-screw the box on and or re-bolt it on and after that you are all done. Then all you gotta do is turn on the car and make sure everything runs, which it definitely will, I, I can promise you that. So uh, with that said, I've got a couple of pretty shots of the car as this uh, car is for sale, so if any family or friends see this, 